When I had my first child a few years ago, we lived in a one bedroom home with no room to store a push chair or a buggy or stroller or a pram or whatever you want to call it. Um, or any of the other stuff that parents are pushed to buy when they are getting ready for the birth of a child. It's not that weird to not have a nursing chair or a changing table, but other parents are usually a bit surprised when I tell them that we've never had a push chair, either for our first daughter, who's now two, or for the new baby, who was born in February. I find myself having to explain how we manage, but what I'd rather be doing is explaining why I think it's actually better to go without a pram, in our case, and probably in many other people's cases. A lot of the benefits of living without a pram are felt by me and my husband, or by the parents in general, but there's also benefits to the child, I believe. When you don't have a pram, the only alternative that I've been able to find is just to carry the baby. Uh, it's not like I'm going to be leaving my baby in the car or at home. You still have to take the baby places, so the only way you can really do that is to carry the baby yourself. And the best way I've found to do that is to use a wrap. A wrap is just a very long piece of fabric that you can tie around your body and use to support the baby while you're carrying it so you don't need to use your hands. I've carried both of my daughters in the wrap since the first day that they were born and the weight of it is spread across the fabric, across your shoulders and your back and your hips. And starting on day one, when the baby is really small, uh, I quickly built up the strength that needed to carry the baby around so that as the baby is getting bigger, I'm getting stronger. In fact, compared to being heavily pregnant, I'd say that it's actually easier to carry a baby around after it's born than before it is. If you're a parent, you probably know that babies love to be picked up and cuddled and especially walking around or going in the car or going in a pram. They love the motion of being sort of rocked or being um, lightly jiggled around. <laughs> uh, it helps them go to sleep and I think being in being in the wrap is a lot like being in the uh, in the womb for the baby, being that close to your body and they say they can even um, the baby can hear your heartbeat when it has its um, sort of head pressed against your chest as well. But particularly the rhythm of walking is exactly what they would have been feeling inside your body. So it's, um, it, it's a very comforting feeling for babies usually. I understand that some babies don't like to be wrapped and they, um, you know, they wriggle around and try to get out. And so it's not an ideal solution for everyone, but it, it's worked very well for our two daughters. And I would really recommend trying it to anyone who has a newborn baby. The baby carriers come in a few different styles. The wrap is just one way to uh, to wear the baby. I like using the stretchy fabric wrap because I can layer it up with the rest of my clothes. So I just put it on in the morning and I keep it on for the rest of the day, taking the baby in and out as needed. There are also more structured baby carriers that I think are a bit more common based on what I've seen other people carrying around. It's kind of like a rucksack, but with uh, you know, a hole for the baby's head and the arms and the legs. It looks a little bit more manly if you're a man and you want to carry your child. With my first daughter, that's what we swapped to using when she became a bit too big for the sling. I think that was around six months of age when she was better able to hold up her own head and kind of sit up and support herself, but she still couldn't walk yet. Compared to having a pram, it's really useful to have your hands free when walking around with the baby and to just not have the faff of putting out, putting the baby in and taking it out. And when I go places, I feel, I don't feel tied down by the baby. I can just walk around like I would if I didn't even have a baby. And I, I sometimes forget that I'm holding her if I'm distracted by my older daughter. Other than the weight of the baby, which I don't really feel that much anyway, the only encumbrance is that I can't bend down uh, so uh, you know, the baby's head kind of flops out of the uh, out of the wrap if I bend over so we'll kind of have to do uh, a series of squatting and if I do bend down I've got to hold the baby's head with one hand which means I only have one other hand spare to do whatever it was I was bending down for um, which is usually fine it's just one thing to think about going out with both of my daughters I can easily hold the hand of my older daughter while she's walking along next to me and I can even give her a piggyback ride while holding the I've got the baby on the front and I've got the toddler on the back like a uh, like a mother possum when I walk past people and I'm carrying both of my daughters like that I get 
um, I get looks from people and uh, people comment like, wow, because like, they, they think I'm strong or something. But the, the only reason I'm strong is because I carry my babies around. Like any kind of exercise, the more you do it, the better you get at doing it. When my eldest daughter started to walk, we took her out without any carrier or pram or anything. We just uh, held her hand when we walked together and we put her on our shoulders when she got tired. And I think she really enjoyed that. But she ended up walking a lot more than I think she would have if we had a pram that we were taking her around in. And that's when I started to really see the benefits of not having a pram at all because she was exploring the world in a way that was great to see. She had this natural curiosity about everything around her and she just, everything she walked past, she wanted to stop and look at it, which you can imagine is a little bit annoying if you're in a hurry, but uh, when we're just going outside for, um, for a little walk together, it was great to see her being so interested in everything around her. And especially at that pre-verbal stage, I think children learn a lot by just doing things and experimenting uh, their world is a lot more sort of tactile than it is intellectual so seeing her interacting with the world and going past people and she, she loved to go up to people with dogs and try to stroke their dogs uh, in a safe way of course and of course the more she walked the more she was using those walking muscles and she was getting stronger and being more coordinated so that when we talked to other parents they would always comment on how strong she was and how sort of confident she was in her surroundings. Obviously a scientific study with a sample size of one isn't very rigorous but I I think she really did benefit from from walking that much and from having the freedom to um, to walk as much as she wanted to and then just to get on our shoulders when uh, when she got tired. So even though we still live in the same one bedroom place we had before, uh, even when we do move to a bigger place, I don't think we're going to get a pram for any of our future children because I just don't really see the need for it. And I think that uh, our life has been enriched by not having one. The prams just seem so cumbersome to me. They take up so much space, especially compared to the the, the baby itself, which is just a, a really tiny thing. The, the, the pram just seems completely out of proportion for, for carrying around this uh, tiny child. <laughs> I think I just wanted to make this video not just for other parents but for young people who are uh, planning to be parents in the future because I worry that young people think of parenting as a kind of complicated lifestyle where you need all of this expensive equipment and you need a really big house to keep all of your stuff in and to you know have all these uh, loads of bedrooms for each of your children and I just think it's worth remembering that for most of the time that humans have been on the planet uh, we haven't needed lots of special equipment to take care of our babies. For a while now I've been thinking about making a video just about living in a one bedroom place with all four of us in <laughs> living in one room. Uh, so if you'd like to see a video like that, let me know. Just like the pram thing, we've set it up so that we don't just manage to get by living all together like this, we actually enjoy uh, being so close and there are some drawbacks obviously. but. I'd love to make a video like that if there were people interested in watching it anyway. Um, but this baby uh, needs a little bit of my attention now, so I'll have to say goodbye and uh, uh, see you again soon. Thank you for watching.